good morning uh, today i am going to explain uh, lecture number 17 uh, network design and uh, storage system and uh, what are the types of components are available in cctv system like cameras and uh, types of lenses are available okay so this is comes under model number 4 cctv and access control system okay so before get into the cctv you must familiar about uh, video management okay uh, so oh, you know the concept of video management right Ma video management system which is used to manage access and control the video server lines environment okay video server lines environment now here when you look into this uh, block diagram here so there will be a, a common uh, network device will be there okay which will be operated by the internet through online portal now which will be monitored this all the system that is like uh, access network cameras access network means uh, which is pointed out a 360 degree angle okay and the next one is access video encoder for analog cameras are available so between analog cameras and uh, access video encoder there will be a coaxial cable coaxial cable means uh, uh, the cable which is to be uh, capable of uh, packing a uh, three types of layers are available like example you can take it as you were a uh, uh, television system uh, back side the cable wire will be there right that is called a uh, coaxial cable okay so generally in coaxial cable because you studied the concept in a coaxial cable in uh, electromagnetic fields okay so what i how to uh, find out the relative permeability value and uh, how uh, to find out the electric field intensity from coaxial cable like that now for cameras the data transmission which will be from cameras to encoder we need a coaxial cable because ordinary cable we should not use because a coaxial cable is a special type of cable which will only applicable for the data transmission lines with the accuracy okay with a proper accuracy and uh, between the access encoder as well as the network cameras there will be another type of uh, uh, system which we are needing it that is called administration for viewing the access camera client okay access camera okay so and afterwards so there will be a broadband router then um, it will be a network uh, database that is like a recording database which will be needed for the videos which are capturing from the cameras maybe the videos can be saved it for a one month or two months based upon the client okay as well as the uh, space which has available in our, uh, uh, our database okay now there are four types of components that are available for video management one is capturing and recording devices second one storage devices third one network fourth one controller so controller means it is like which is used to maybe it will be a pac controllers which is used to control the capturing devices as well as the storage devices okay both input and output which will control it okay now come to our camera concept generally the camera is a device that records images the camera is a device that record images that can be stored directly transmitted to another location it is like a transformer okay transformer you know the concept the transformer is a static device which transfer electric energy from one stage to another like that the camera is a device that records images and that can be stored okay once the images can record it it will be stored in the database then it has to transfer from one part to another location okay so these images may be a still photograph or moving images such as videos or movies there are two types of cameras are available in the market one is film cameras the other name of film camera is analog cameras okay the other name of film camera is analog camera the second type is digital camera okay so there are two types of cameras are available one is analog another one is digital the other name of analog will be a film camera one by one by one i will explain what is a film camera that is this is the concept of analog camera here okay so analog camera is having 
three components or three basic elements one is optical that is lens second one is chemical that is film third one is mechanical mechanical means it is a camera body okay which is a camera body now these three elements combined okay to create a printable image okay that is film camera okay optical that is lens film and camera body which will combine to create the printable image now there are two types of digital cameras are available one is p and s p and s stands for point and shoot okay point and shoot what it is here the viewer finder provides a rough idea what is this view but not the real image okay it is only to capture a yeah, memory is great for capturing the images and second one is slr slr camera is called single lens reflex okay first one is p and s p and s stands for point and shoot the second one is slr slr stands for single lens reflex so by using slr you can see the actual image that will be exposed onto the film okay and we can get a great clarity okay good clarity we can get it and also compared to the point and uh, shoot cameras this slr cameras which will provide more control and better that is nothing but accurate images we can get okay so this is the block diagram of single lens reflex you see this diagram here okay this is a camera body okay this is a high okay retina will be there this is a high space that is which we are seeing it here and this is the film and shutters and this one will be a mirror mirror means hinged type this hinged mirror which will be placed in 45 degree direction not 60 degree it will be in 45 degree direction okay now whatever the light for example here this lens will be there okay now here when you pass a light what happen this light will be hit this uh, particular mirror and it will be refracted okay it will be reflected to this uh, penta spring okay it is nothing but penta spring in the top view of the camera then it will be get into the high space okay this is the operation here okay so the direction of the light it will be a single line okay which will be a single line and it will be in a cross sectional view okay which will be a cross sectional view of 45 degree angle now in slr cameras generally there are three important uh, parameters are available one is f stop f stop second one is shutter speed third one is flame speed okay f stop shutter speed flame speed now f stop will be having a two types one is lower f stop another one is higher f stop what is f stop f stop means how you are going to see the light okay how much light we can see and what is the aperture okay how much aperture is open okay that is f stop shutter speed means how long the light is seen in the picture that is you are going to see the the speed of the light in the aperture and third one is flame speed flame speed means how fast the film itself respond to its light so here in flame speed the speed of the flame which will be directly proportional to the light okay the flame speed is directly proportional to the light here okay f stop means you are going to calculate how much light you are going to see and how much aperture is open at shutter speed means how long the light is seen in the aperture flame speed means how fast the film it speeds responds to its light when you come to f stop there are two types one is lower f stop another one is higher f stop you see here okay in f stop the ranges the normally the f stop ranges which is 1.8 to 32 okay 1.8 to 32 the higher number is 32 okay the higher number is 32 okay means less light you can see okay less light you can see and the lower number is 1.8 this 1.8 stands for lower light which is the meaning of that lower light means more light you can see okay when it comes to higher number 
it is saying like less light you are going to see when you come to 1.8 more light you can see okay so here this 32 stands for higher f stop 1.8 stands for lower f stop okay lower f stop what is the comparison between this 32 and 1.8 means in when you are using this higher f stop 32 the image background is not blurry okay the image background is not blurry the reason is that which will increase the depth of the field okay and also the main drawback here in by using the 32 which need more light so when the camera will consume more light what happened the shutter speed is lesser okay the shutter speed is lesser okay in higher f-stop when it come to lower f-stop lower f-stop means uh, this 1.8 it is nothing but lower f-stop when it come to lower f-stop this we can see a uh, plenty of light is better in uh, during dark settings as for less there will be a less blurry we can see since a uh, faster uh, shutter speed may be needed to compensate for more light the main drawback here the background image likely out of focus that is likely out of focus means the meaning of it is no depth in the field okay no depth in the field you see this picture here when it come to lower f stop you see here the background image it's blurry okay the background image will be blurry and when you come to higher f stop it will be somewhat good clarity we are getting the reason in higher f stop the number is 32 the lower f stop is 1.8 any doubts students any doubts okay okay what is the shutter speed actually the shutter speed means which measures the how long the light will let into the camera okay generally the common values okay as per the standard for any camera the common values we are saying it is 0 0.5 second 1 by 8 second 1 by 1000 second etc okay and shorter time means a less time for light get into the camera okay when the shorter time which will mean which will reduce the blurriness okay in shutter speed okay and if we are increasing the speed in shutter what happened the main advantage is that if you increase the shutter speed we can reduce the blurriness of the image which we are seeing it and disadvantage here we can see a less light for lighting to enter into the camera and require more bright conditions okay require more bright conditions and if you come to slower speed okay if you are reducing the speed in shutter we can applicable for only darker conditions disadvantages increased chance of blurriness okay you see this picture this picture for 1 by 15th of a second okay it is visible to see the picture here but when you come to this picture 1 by 150 because you are increasing the timing so you can see it is somewhat more clarity but there is a background it is somewhat it's showing like dark conditions okay and the third one is film speed the film speed means the pair in the main parameter which will be called as sensitivity okay sensitivity and if you are in reducing the film speed that is 64 which gives good for enlarging but require bright light okay and which require lower shut speed lower shut speed means lower f stop button and when it come when you are increasing the film speed faster that is from 64 to 400 because these are the speed numbers 64 100 400 these are the numbers fixed by iso for any cameras okay if you are fixing 400 then if you are enlarging the image which requires power clarity but needs less light but that's good for indoor photography okay and also for film speed digital cameras did not use it okay we are not using it but the main reason here they are using in film speed they are using a technology called ccd okay in film speed they are using the technology called ccd ccd means 
it will be a charge coupled device which senses only the images okay which is sensor only the images uh, anybody having the idea about uh, ccd charge coupled device any idea anirudh anirudh krishma yes good good chain charge coupled device we are using the photodiode concept photodiode means we can use a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors okay mosfet okay we can use it now here when you come to the digital cameras it will be called as digital photography in digital photography the f stop button aperture is sometimes fixed within the digital camera itself so you can adjust only the shutter speed okay aperture f stop button is fixed only you are going to adjust the shutter speed okay and also the main important concept of digital photography it is only applicable for pixels okay which pixel is which will give better clarity okay better clarity okay and also in this camera they are not using any chemical components here okay. you see this digital photography the other name of digital photography we can say it will be pixel short for picture element okay it which will give only the better picture quality okay what are the qualities of picture one is 64 cross 480 pixel okay another one is 1216 cross 912 pixel the third one is 1600 cross 1200 pixel if you increase the pixel clarity now we can get better resolution that is the size of the image which is somewhat larger the larger means how much inches it comes around 8 cross 10 inches okay this is almost which will give 2 million total pixels okay or understand my point so there are three important standards are evolution and also in digital photography when you are using the pixel there will give a better resolution of the particular image which you are capturing in the camera okay and how it works generally this digital photography now you are having the camera your picture is taken and the camera is automatically will converts a picture from analog to digital format okay now a person is capturing a image that image will recorded by the camera that camera will convert that particular capture image from pixel from analog to digital format so this camera which converts analog when you are converting analog to digital camera the analog to digital format the same camera will convert digital pixels into color images then then they can store it in the digital memory within the camera itself maybe in memory card or sticks then the picture can be subsequently transferred from digital camera either by a serial cables or more recently using a usb port okay usb port and in picture there will be a digital camera there will be a zooming options is also be there this zooming options we can say it will be called ma macro mode okay which will be called macro mode which will be give at the pixel adjustment okay the digital zoom which will calculate how to adjust the pixel adding them or removing it okay adding them or removing it now the main advantage of digital camera here the pictures do not need to develop at the store saved money and time and the picture can be took can be viewed within a few seconds of taking it and also you can readily uh, delete photos within the camera that are done improperly or by done mistake and you can easily upload your photographs in the computer and use software to nrc photo further okay now in analog cameras they are using a ccd i already mentioned the ccd technology which will be used the ccd means charge coupled device charge coupled device means they are using a mosfet metal oxide semiconductor transistors but here they are using metal oxide semiconductor mos okay a mos capacitors they are using it so this mos capacitor the main purpose of mos capacitor mos means metal oxide semiconductor capacitor okay the ccd is a two dimensional array of metal oxide semiconductor capacitor the charges are available in the capacitors which are stored in the depletion region 
okay then the charges are moved in the depression region by manipulating the voltage gates so from one place to another that is from charging from one capacitor to next stage okay so that whatever the charges which is available in the depression region that is amplifier which it detect the presence of charge packed providing the output voltage that can be processed you see this picture here this is the cross section view okay here in cmos cmos means cmos capacitor metal oxides semiconductor capacitor this capacitor which is having here yeah. three regions one is p substrate okay that is in terms of accumulation region in terms of depletion region in terms of immersion region when it comes to accumulation region the gate voltage is lesser than a flat band fb stands for flat band voltage okay in accumulation region the gate voltage is lesser than flat band region but when you come to the depletion region the flat band voltage is very much lesser than gate voltage then gate voltage is very much lesser than threshold voltage okay threshold voltage vt is lesser than f vfp but when you come to the inversion vt is less than vg you see this diagram here the voltages actually this uh, barrier concepts you are studying in electron devices in a mosfet okay mosfet regions now here you see the photons photons which is nothing but uh, light okay which will be immersed in this uh, photoelectric electrons electrons which will be nothing but current okay which will be entering into this potential well okay here in this region the voltage is separating the accumulation as well as the depletion region in between a p type and n type silicon materials so the overall semiconductor capacitor they are using a silicon type material okay the the top layer it will be fabricated by a silicon dioxide sio2 they are fabricated and in terms of voltage the substrate region they are using in this is the gate okay this is the gate and in gate region they are using the polysilicon material okay in gate region they are using the polysilicon material in inside they are having a p type silicon and n type silicon materials n type silicon materials now here this photo electrons which are stored here it will be emit okay which will be emit to dissolve the photons okay photons so because of that your vt voltage that is at threshold voltage will be lesser than gate voltage okay that's what it will be showing here it will be a light which will be immersed okay so this type of concept which is not applicable in digital camera any doubts students any doubts okay you see the structure of ccd structure it will be like a array i already mentioned it is the array array means uh, it will be a equal uh, 100 cross 100 arrays like that 100 rows 100 columns like that so x axis will be a charging motion y axis also be charging motion so the outer layer will be a image layer inside the every box you can see this is the pixel okay this is a pixel so in pixel there are horizontal and vertical registers which also be available okay and full frame ccd because in ccd i am already mentioned there is a amplifier which they are using okay amplifier what amplifier they are using means a differential amplifiers they are using it in terms of differential amplifier they are having the parallel registers okay parallel registers this is a center view is nothing but parallel register the edge point which is nothing but serial registers okay in horizontal view it is in serial registers but in y axis vertical view will be a parallel registers the parallel registers is other name called as a image area okay this is not so these are all the uh, storage uh, regions which is how the uh, lights that is how the photons which is moved from one place to another place maybe from depletion to enhancing more okay or accumulation region how it moves in x axis and in y axis region and how it will be transferred through the amplifier you see this right okay so once it will transfer from right to left then it will move from next stage which will be from bottom top to bottom then it moves from bottom layer y axis to 
the amplifier okay that is a portion so in the starting stage it is empty but in ending stage you see how it will be moving it it is through amplifier it is moving okay now there are four important functions are there in cct one is charge generation second one is charge collection third one is charge transfer fourth one is charge detection okay in charge generation we are using the photoelectric effect in charge collection they are using the potential well and charge transfer also they are using the potential potential means electric potentials and charge detection means sense node capacitance start it okay now come to our concept cct you know the acronym of cct closed circuit television okay ctv stands for closed circuit television which is used for video cameras to transmit the signal in a specific place on a limited set of monitors in cctv the signal is not openly transmitted only through a point to point okay point to point or point to multi point or we can say wireless transmission also we can use it mostly they are the cctv which is used to monitor in main application is bank casinos airports and military installations and convenience stores and jewelry shops nowadays most of the applications are anywhere we can see it's the cctv okay that there are two types of cct cameras are available in the market one is analog cctv systems second one is digital cctv system the other name of digital cctv system it will be ip surveillance system okay the other name of digital cctv is ip surveillance system any doubts any doubts students ip surveillance system digital system cctv is ip surveillance system i'll explain one by one what are the components are available in cctv there are six components are available one is camera second one is lens third one transmission of video signal fourth one monitor fifth one recording of images fifth sixth one is control of camera and images so there are six components one is camera lenses transmission of video signal monitor recording of images control of camera and images okay this is the components of cct you see here this is a monitor this is the multiplexer which we are using and this monitor means this is nowadays they are using that uh, some some in the houses they are connecting with the uh, television system uh, in the most of the application they are using in uh, laptops and uh, desktop systems also they are connecting it for better clarity and uh, what type of controller they are using is plan tilt zoom controller they are using it plan tilt okay uh, this is these are the different types of cctv cameras are available you can see here wall mounted dome camera this is a wall mounted dome camera it will be rotated at a 360 degree this both dome cameras which is fixed in this cct 360 degree and this fixed camera which is only fixed for the particular location okay it should be viewed only in the particular view uh, point which we are focusing it here okay and they are using the transmitter pair also they are using it these are the fixed camera which showing a lenses okay It's not required. Okay. Today's cameras nowadays they are using 720 or 1080 rows of pixel camera, which will be used in digital HD mode. Okay. And also we can say it in digital mode we can say the format is 16 ratio 9. That is only for 720 or 1080 rows cameras. When it come to 7820 or 1080 row cameras in terms of megapixel. it comes out of format is 4 ratio 3 which will maintain the image integrity with small dimensions components of lenses there are two types of lenses one is manual iris another one is auto iris manual iris means which is fixed setting for constant light levels okay which is fixed setting for constant light levels when it comes to auto iris the aperture automatically which adjust the light level change that is light level changes and third parameter is focal length focal length signs for what is the size of the lens the as per the standards the size of the lens which we are fixing from 
2.8-16 millimeters. Okay, the size of the lens in digital camera IP surveillance system 2.8-16 mm. Okay, you see this. This is the picture which you are capping, capturing in digital camera. The size of the lens is the 8 mm. Okay. And if you are zooming it, it will be 50 mm dimension. It will be a better clarity, but you can't get the full image. That is a drawback here. Okay. And I already mentioned to take the images and transferring the images from one part to another part, you need a cable. Okay. I already told cable means coaxial cable. We can say it will be coaxial cable. This coaxial cable. We can operate it by using the Ethernet environment also. What are the different types of coaxial cables are there? Different types will be, there are two types of, three types of coaxial cable. One is large multi-conductor phone cables. Phone cables, which is for television system. Second one is UTP. UTP stands for Unshielded Twisted Panel unshielded twisted pair which is to utilize existing cable network for LAN purpose which will require less space in conduct trace. Conduct trace means to transfer because nowadays they are fixing the cable in the underground. Okay. So for less space is required for this to fixing this unshielded twisted pair cables. When it comes to the fiber optic, generally fiber optic cables which is give a strong electromagnetic interference. This EMI stands for electromagnetic interference, RFI stands for radio frequency interference signal. And why they are going for this fiber optic means, which will be you long run, lifelong capacity, okay, long run. And also we can give it for over 500 feet depth and which will give large amount of bandwidth, large amount of bandwidth. So, for a digital camera, IP surveillance system, most of the applications they are using this fiber optic cable. And also the drawback is that here the cost wise it will be higher. The reason is that which will be give long life. That is one advantage. So, to get a long life warranty, okay. So, we need long run, okay. Not warranty, long run process. We have to invest more. And fourth one is wireless systems also we can operate by using CCTV. But here the cable installation is too difficult and a clear line of sight is needed. Okay. And also FCC lines. FCC means it will be a factor control system line license. Okay. May be required from the government. Okay. Which will be give the factors that is distance, frequency and population. Of the particular location which will be required okay now in terms of monitors there are two types one is black and white monitors another one is LCD monitors this is already I told recording purpose which you need video recorders okay what are the components which in necker to control one is encoder encoder means the main purpose of encoder which converts video signal from analog to digital. Balance means it converts signal to run over unshielded to step back. Enclosures means basic outer to bullet or explosion proof. And PTZ stands for fan tilt zoom. See these are the technical words which are using in CCTV. Okay. Pan tilt zoom. PTZ stands for pan. T stands for tilt zoom. Z stands for zoom, which is user control the camera image. Transmitter receiver means the fiber optic applications converting electrical signal to light and then back to electrical. Video switchers means the route either analog or IP video signal to various monitors. Okay, so these are the main parameters, or we can say which are the technical words which we are using in the CCTV cameras: balloons, encoder, enclosures. Pan tilt zoom, transmitter, receiver, video switches. Any doubts? Anirudh, Shushma, Grishma, any doubts? Can you please give me the reply? Okay. Okay. Now we can see 
uh, and uh, some more uh, purpose we have to need okay when you are fixing the camera we have to see the ambient temperature of the particular location that is nothing but cooling parameter okay in the camera there is a option is called cooling parameter normally in a cctv the ideal ambient temperature is 85 degrees celsius and where we can fix this camera that is nothing but mount meaning of mount is fixing where we can fix wall ceiling or parapet or pole okay like our street lamps we can fix it and how much power supply which is required 24 volt ac supply okay the cctv which will be operated in 24 volt ac supply okay cctv operated at 24 volt ac supply so how many racks are available here racks the meaning of rack is ranging from wall mount to upstreet uprights and ups system ups system which will be uninterrupted power supply yes it is there in cctv protection again power sack such as and blackouts what is the meaning of power sack any doubt anyone power sack ashwanand uh, uh, abhishek shushma students sartak das sartak das battery power sack means the disturbances which is happening in the voltage and current okay you can see the power sack okay normally our voltage will be a sinusoidal line in the sinusoidal line if any disturbances are there in both voltage and current maybe higher voltage or lower voltage that is a meaning of power sack usually this power sack will be happening only during evening times because by evening time 6 to 7 or 6 to 8 most of the industries they are operating with the full fledged uh, operation so during that time there is a plenty number of uh, higher voltage uh, distortions will be happening in the domestic line supply okay that's what uh, in our house we can see the dim and dip option which is happening in the lights and the fan speed also which will be sometime reducing and it will be increasing due to this uh, uh, power sag options okay blackouts the meaning of blackout what is the meaning of blackout anyone anyone blackout yes power cut in our country uh, when the blackout is happening happened north cities uh, almost blackouts will be happened for almost uh, three days north uh, states five to six states uh, it is blackout which year it is anyone anybody give me the reply blackout which year it's happened Which year it has happened? Power blackout. No, that is actually, no, no, no. Actually, that is blackout because of that uh, flood. Okay. There is a normal blackout which is happened by the installation, electricity, construction installation. Okay, this electricity people done a blunder mistakes because of the blunder mistakes uh, blackout happened in the year 2012 especially in the first blackout which is happening in the year 2012 in the entire state north states uh, of our country okay from Jammu and Kashmir Rajasthan Punjab Uttar Pradesh Bihar Orissa Chhattisgarh and Assam Arunachal Pradesh every all the entire state except the Gujarat Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh okay Maharashtra Andhra okay and Tamil Nadu Karnataka Kerala Pondicherry remaining entire states get into the blackout in the year 2012 in the year 2013 the same blackout has to be happened which is affected for one day okay in 2012 the blackout happened for two days okay in the entire state but in the 2013 the second blackout has happened for one day because the due to the reason is that the distribution sector in our 
in the Madhya Pradesh, in the what is that? In the Uttar Pradesh, uh, which has been uh, uh, collapsed, the total entire uh, transmission cable is collapsed. So because of that, uh, the transmission system of the electricity it's not uh, pulled from grid to the consumer. That is one of the drawback which has happened. That is the meaning of blackout. Okay, during blackout also we can protect the camera images. That is the CCTVs. CCTV. Okay. And you see this is the block diagram of the CCTV, how it will be. So here in the building there are four CCTV camera and a wireless CCTV camera which is also be fixed here. And this CCTV camera which will be connected, all the CCTV camera which will be connected with the DVR for recording purpose which will be connected with the uh, television system. This camera DVR will be operated by the router or modems by using the internet option. Okay, DVR means digital video recorder. DVR means digital video recorder. What is a DVR? Which is the device or applications software that records video in a digital format to a disk drive. That is the meaning of digital video recorder. Okay, so this is the general block diagram of DVR. So for any every image, okay, there is a we they can't transfer it immediately to the hard disk. There will be a filtering devices will be there. This filter will check the clarity of the image or if any error will be there, it won't send it. Okay. And if the filter will check the image, if the image is okay, it will be applicable when no errors are available, immediately it will be transfer to the device called PMEG. Okay. M back to program stream max max means multiplexer okay which it transfer to the DVR sync and the source that is nothing but engine and it should transfer to the hard disk okay so this is a general block diagram in your examination for uh, uh, two more question okay I will ask you in the second see uh, in the second internal for a 2.5 marks Sketch the block diagram digital video recorder means you have to draw this data for two more questions. Okay. Digital video monitoring, you can go through this uh, diagram for two minutes. Please go through this. Which will be called the audio process. This is for audio process. Audio and the video monitoring purpose. For, uh, What is the comparison between analog and uh, digital? Analog video which uses only the electrical signal to recap, capture images on magnetic tape. But digital video signal is a pattern of binary numbers, one and zeros. Okay. Digital video which will give more clarity compared to analog. And also uh, cost wise it is higher. Okay. And the digital video which will give higher resolution compared to the analog video and the recording uh, capacity of analog video so it is somewhat highly susceptible to deteriorations but in digital view we can preserve the videos and as well as protection system also with that. any doubts students any doubts any doubts Actually, this IP system, which is uh, because the reason is that, uh, see, actually in the year 2016, the government has passed a resolution. That is, uh, when we are constructing the building or hospitals or anywhere, there will be a CCTV camera should be fixed. Some of the people said there is a question. CCTV camera, you are saying it. A CCTV camera means a normal camera because they are thinking like CCTV means normal camera, so they are fixing it. But they are they don't know about the surveillance, they don't know about they are monitoring it to monitor because in CCTV, what is the main advantage is that we are seeing you are capturing the image and you are checking the clarity and you are monitoring it, then you are processing the image. Okay. Now, when we are talking about surveillance means the meaning of surveillance means to check for checking purpose any unauthorized 
person is entering into the bank. Okay, that is for checking purpose. And any unauthorized, any theft is happening in the jewelry shop. That is for by immediately they because they will take one of the evidence. Okay, they will take as a evidence of CCTV. That's what they are taking using the word called surveillance system. Otherwise, they won't use the surveillance system because the surveillance system is not possible in analog cameras. It is only applicable in digital camera. Are you understand my point? Oh, uh, what? Uh, not understanding, ah? Uh? Okay, okay. IP. Okay, okay. okay. Any doubts? We can say IP is a internet pro protocol also. Protocol surveillance system. Okay, internet protocol surveillance system. Or uh, understand my point? Yes, internet both uh, wireless also we can access it. We can access it during uh, blackout conditions also we can access it. Okay. Okay, okay. Now answer your attendance. See, hereafter I won't uh, share the Google spreadsheet uh, for attendance. Okay, now you are uh, seeing this. Uh, can you please give me the reply? Uh, Abhishek Kumar, present. Abhishek Kumar, present. Abhishek Kumar, absent. Okay. Uh, Anirudh, Anirudh, present. Alan Harish, Alan Harish, absent. Apaji. Absent. Ashwanan. Absent. Bharat. Abhumika. Lakshmi Badi. Chitra. Darshini. Divya Sri. Kavipriya. Gangana. Shivakumar. Grishma. Jafar, Jebran, Nandish, Karthik, Karthik, Kiran, Lingaretti, Manoj, Mohammad Jilani, Mohammad Umar Ali, Mohammad Tagur Ali, Navin Kumar, Naira, Naira, Niranjan, Nischal, Punnapa, Prapatraj, Prajwal, Prajwal, Rachana, Rohan, Rohan, Ruthik, Ruthik, Sagar, Sahana, Sanjay, Sartak, Shagar, Shiva, Shiva Arvi, Shiva Arvi, Shairas Babu, Siddharth, Vikram, Vinayaga, Vishwadipak, Mohammed Numan Bhatt, Tahura, Kiran, Likita, Manjunath, Shushma, Susmita, Sharon, Harisha, Harisha, okay, now, okay, okay, now, uh, students, uh, from uh, next week, uh, uh, Wednesday you are having class, during that time, there will be a quiz too, as per the academic calendar, the quiz too will be conducted, okay, the quiz too will be uh, scheduled, What's the date? 
Wednesday next week. Ah, uh, twenty nine. Next day, next week. Okay. The portion for uh, quiz two is uh, module number uh, uh, three. Module number three. Okay. Module three, which I'm going to conduct it for uh, five marks. Okay. Any doubts? Okay, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Come here.